So yeah, Melbourne is very, 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 very hot tonight. Um, it, it's above 40 degrees, and it's really hot, and you're just sweating and sweltering, and you realize quickly just how impacting heat can be on the world when it's shining strong. Um, you don't always believe that the sun is a threat to the world when the seasons are fairly rotational. But when it gets hot, you know, you just think if this was hot, if this was how it was all the time, or even if it got it reached a higher level of heat, um, then it would bring issues like major issues with drought and whatnot. And you just really think about it, and it's sort of, uh, it's very believable when you experience the heat, how damaging it could be on the world if it was around all the time at, at high temperatures. I mean, we're just in the 40s, I mean, some other places get 80 degrees, and it's almost unbearable, and, you know, we need all the air conditionings and fans that we can get to deal with 40 degrees. But when you experience it, you realize how how the heat and the sun is um, when, it's, when it's impacting the world, when it's sending its, its major heat rays on the world. If we were living in a world where we just had cement and no trees, uh, people regarded trees as a nuisance and they deforested the whole area just so that they could have a modern looking society which involved the construction of cement buildings. If we only had cement and every lane and courtyard was made of cement, you know, when it's hot, you know, you realize just just how just how severe we would experience the heat if we didn't have any trees um, or filtering plants, you know, if we didn't have any of that and we just had straight cement and the heat was just bearing down on it, uh, the world would literally cook and it would suffer.